what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The New York Times is dropping all kinds of stories, man. They just published a story about some Washington Redskin cheerleaders who were on a trip to Costa Rica in 2013, and they claimed that there were some inappropriate things going on. They were trying to hook them up with all kind of old, strange, old, dirty-looking dudes. The story written by Juliet McCurr said that during a trip for the cheerleader calendar photo shoot, the cheerleaders were required to be topless, and an all-male group of sponsors and FedEx field suite holders were granted up close access to the photo shoots. McCurr said that she spoke to five cheerleaders who were on the trip, as well as others who heard descriptions of the trip and corroborated the details. One evening, McCurr wrote, the squad's director told nine of the 36 cheerleaders that some of the sponsors had picked them to be personal escorts at a nightclub. That nightclub trip did not involve sex, the Times said, but McCurr wrote that several of the cheerleaders began to cry when told that would be their duties for the night. The cheerleader director, Stephanie Jojokian, disputed details of the trip. She said that the trip to the nightclub was not mandatory and said that the cheerleaders were not picked by sponsors. Yeah, right. This reminds me of what goes on all the time, all over the world, in business. And this happens a whole lot in the entertainment business. This is a cautionary tale for anybody trying to break into the entertainment industry, but especially for women, because women seem to find themselves in this type of compromising position more often than not. What can you do? I mean, you're looking at what it is that you want out of the situation and what is required of you to attain what it is that you want. Some of those women, you know, played the game just as they did in the Bill Cosby uh, cases. So if you don't want to play the game, I guess you got to do like some of those women did and just step down and just say, I'm not going to do it. And But one thing I don't want to hear about is the ones who play the game and then come back later and say, uh, they made me do this. Uh, I felt pressured and this and that. And I understand, you know, I ain't going to lie. I can tell that, you know, I can, I can, I can sympathize with somebody saying I felt pressured because we all feel pressure to do things that we don't want to do from time to time. I get that. But feeling pressure to do something is not an excuse to do it, right? It's like me feeling pressure to go into that bank and rob it with my homie. Not saying I did. But I can feel pressured, but if I go out there and do it, then they're gonna punish me, right? And nobody's gonna feel sorry for me. So women, women gotta use, women, y'all gotta use your good judgment. And if it doesn't make you feel comfortable, don't do it. If it don't make you feel comfortable, don't go. Don't walk into that room. Don't go to that meeting. Don't go to that lunch date. Don't go to his house. Don't go to that hotel. Just don't do it. Because this is really, really a bad situation for a lot of people. I mean, you, you wouldn't... It'd be hard to guess how many people has had their lives just totally destroyed by feeling pressured to do things that they didn't want to do. And, and I'm talking tonight, right now specifically women pressured to do things sexually that they didn't want to do. You know damn well 
that those women were pressured to go to that club and they expected them to do so. And they also expected them to do a little something, something, something else too. You know what I'm talking about? You think those old dudes that are CEOs of those companies were going out there and just wanted to hang out and kick it, just wanted to have somebody to talk to? Might find one, two maybe, but the rest of them are men. And if you're dealing with a full-blooded man, testosterone-driven man, you know what a man want. It's not front. So be careful, women. That's all I'm saying. I just wanted to put this video out here and let y'all know that I understand. I understand what you're going through, but at the same time, you got to you know, exercise some, some critical judgment, some critical thinking, right? Don't put yourself in these type of positions. And if you find yourself in this type of position, get out as soon as possible. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?